Welcome to an exciting day because it is Rue's first gallops training. So we are off to the gallops. I've been to this gallop once, nine years ago, with Priya, um, but it was in quite a bit of disrepair and it shut down soon after, so I never got the opportunity to go again. Um, but they've just been taken over by someone else and refurbished and open for booking, which I'm so excited about because it's a circular 1.25 kilometer gallop on a slight incline. Um, it's individual sessions, so I can go both ways. Um, so now Rue is open and his next goal is to do an 80 kilometer. He needs to start upping his training. Um, so today is just an introduction for him to the gallops. So it won't be anything more difficult than he's done before. The aim is to do about 10K, maybe more. We'll see how it goes, it's quite warm. Um, and do half one way, half the other way. So it's all the focus is on speed endurance. So that continuous kind of canter, keeping the same pace and keeping that going. When I say speed endurance, it doesn't mean high speed. It just means we select a speed and we continue in that speed for a long period of time. So that is the focus of his training for the next six weeks. Um, and this is his first session. So we'll see how it goes. We might not get continuous canter for the whole session and that is okay. It'll be the benchmark for our future training sessions because hopefully we'll be doing this once a week. So onwards. straightforward through the gate through the yard signed a disclaimer parked up the gallops are right there so we're now gonna tack up get going see how Rue feels about gallop training there's no galloping involved in gallop training not yet anyway um, we're just a stupid name, they're called the gallops but most people canter on them unless you're a racehorse a Dan is here by the way <laughs> behind the camera <laughs> um, we are canter training on a all weather track then instead of if you don't want to call it the gallop yeah um Rue loves canter so hopefully this will be the start of him really enjoying training he's old now 2020 no oh, hold on 20 2011 any spooky sections um, there are horses in the middle of this gallop I'm sure they're used to it but he might not be used to them so trot around each way then hopefully canter around each way maybe four times so let's get started let's see what this little novice endurance pony can do impressions are really good like it's the perfect incline decline it's not too steep so we can start practicing cantering downhill um, without too much pressure on him going really well I love that they haven't trimmed the sides like a lot of places would so it's good for like the wildlife it's a bit more natural it's a bit more like it would be out on an endurance course so one more trot lap this way and then we can start cantering
well done. We have one very sweaty pony. He's very good at keeping one constant pace, mainly because at the moment that is the only thing he can do. He doesn't have any other gears yet. Was that hard work? Even your eyeball is sweating. Are you tired? I know, but it'll be much nicer once it's done. It'll be much nicer once it's done, it won't be so itchy. What's such a grump? leave the water on him while he waits here. The reason we don't do a proper cool down on the gallops is because when we come into endurance, sometimes I do, but when we get in an endurance ride and we come into a vet gate, he's going to come to a straight stop and be crude. I'm now going to walk him around a little bit as it drips off and then I'll scrape it just before we get on the lorry. But we don't scrape because the water evaporating is what cools him down. Um, so he's really good on the gallops. So Stag Sports have taken it over and they're in the process of doing everything up. The gallops was really, really nice actually. So if anyone wants to come gallop training with me, Stag Sports on Facebook. Um, I'm gonna try and come once a week, I think. Um, they basically, you just have a link on their Facebook page and you can then book in and you can do groups or individual bookings and things. And you get the gallops for 45 minutes, like your own group. So there's no other groups on the gallops. And then there's like a 15 minute crossover time for you coming off people tacking up and going on. So he did really, really well and I'm looking forward to coming again. He was a little bit knackered towards the end and he throws his head a lot, which is really annoying because he loses his back legs and it's gonna hurt his back. So I think he might need a bigger port in his bit because his back feels really, really good. He's been okay by the physio, Sadler's been. So I'm thinking maybe the bit is on his tongue. We'll have a little play with that. Hey, next one's here. Hey, next one's here. down no more sweaty roo bit tired roo though 80 k is gonna blow your mind isn't it so yeah this is the start of our 80k training should we load up go home and have some food yeah good boy good boy come on then <laughs>